Clean My Mac menu bar item lets us monitor several aspects of our Mac with one quick view. To get to it, click the Clean My Mac logo here in the menu bar. At the top here, we have the internal SSD drive that this Mac is booted from. We can see how full it is and click the Free Up button, which is just going to launch the full Clean My Mac window. Over in the memory panel, we can see how much RAM is currently available. Clicking free up here will actually run the free up RAM command that's available in the maintenance section of Clean My Mac. Below we can see the current battery level if it's a portable Mac and what apps, if any, are open and putting strain on the battery. Quitting these apps are going to extend battery life or reduce the power consumption of an iMac. Next, we can see how full the trash is and empty it if we want. In the CPU panel, we can see how hard the Mac is working in real time. The temperature of the processor is listed, and if we click on the info icon here, we're able to view apps that are taxing the CPU. Quitting the apps listed here will take a load off the processor and let it cool down. You might also hear the fans in your Mac slow down after quitting these apps that are using a heavy load of the CPU. In the network panel, we can see how much data is currently being transferred down from the internet or up to it. You're usually going to have at least a small number here because your Mac is constantly communicating with something, such as an email server, syncing files to the cloud, etc. Click Test Speed and a quick download speed test of your connection is run. After that, we can click this Good For button to see what online activities the tested speed will allow. I also have my Dropbox account connected, so how much space available there is always visible in this panel. Click the Settings button in the lower right and we can launch the Clean My Mac Preferences or quit the Clean My Mac menu bar item. Choosing quit here does not quit the Clean My Mac app. It only quits the menu bar item, removing the logo from the menu bar. In Clean My Mac Preferences, we have a menu panel. Here we're able to quickly enable or disable the menu bar item. We can also set levels for when we are going to be warned that the Mac is getting low on storage or the trash is getting full. Below, if this item is checked, if I were to delete an app without using Clean My Mac, it's going to ask me if I want to use the uninstaller to remove all the files related to the app. We can also be notified when apps are frozen or hung, and when we're getting low on RAM and should free some up. In the Instruments tab, we can activate or deactivate the Dropbox, Network, or iOS device panels in the menu bar item. I already have the Dropbox and Network panels active. Turn on iOS devices, and any iPhones or iPads associated with this Mac via iCloud will appear in their own panel that displays how full they are and how much space is available on them. Click Reclaim Space and a web page will open with advice on how to do that, including downloading the Gemini Photos app that can help remove duplicate and similar photos from your device. So the Clean My Mac menu bar item provides a lot of information in a small space. I use it quite a bit and like having it easily accessible up in my menu bar.